So a major rumor has just started going around the internet, going around YouTube, going around everywhere about Call of Duty 2016. Now, if you remember from my last video about COD 2016, I was telling you guys that we were probably going to get some more information towards March, the, the end of this month, and uh, the end of April. And now a rumor has come out from a source who's pretty credible. He's predicted some things about Black Ops 3 in the past, such as wall running and cybernetics being in the game. He has a source that has told him essentially that Call, Call of Duty 2016 is going to be set in the very, very distant future like 200 years in the future, something like that. And it's going to be like space warfare combat type of stuff. And now, before you guys get all upset, keep in mind that this is a rumor. It's not confirmed. Activision hasn't said anything about this, but he does have a pretty decent track record. Now, I don't know about you guys. I'm pretty sure the majority of you will have the same reaction that I did and that you're really disappointed in this and you're hoping that this is not true. But on the bright side, if this is true, this might cheer you up a little bit. It's rumored that the pre-order bonus for Call of Duty 2016 is going to be COD 4 and MW2, which will be available to those who pre-order the game as a downloadable content type thing. So you'll be able to get a code and download them for free, which sounds really amazing. However, I would like to have a decent Call of Duty 2016 to go along with those games. And a near, like, a, a space warfare? Like, I don't even know how i how i can fathom a call of duty game like that it seems like since this console generation has come out call of duty's more more so going towards like halo type stuff rather than what we had with call of duty it doesn't even feel like call of duty anymore now like i said these are all rumors nothing's been confirmed yet but it is getting towards that time of year when we normally do get more information about the call of duty that's coming out for that year so it's the end of March now. It's about to be April in a couple days. And then E3 is obviously coming up in June, which is when Activision will be doing a joint press conference type thing with Sony, and they'll be unveiling the new Call of Duty. Now, what I'm thinking is that we're probably going to get a teaser or something for the game, probably in April. And then we're going to get another like trailer probably around the NBA Finals, late May, early June. And then the actual reveal of like gameplay and things like that will probably be at uh, E3. Or what they could do is just save it all for E3 and just give us a little teaser or something, uh, a snippet or something before E3 and then go in and just reveal it. Now, the article that I'm talking about can be found in the description so you guys can read that for your own leisure. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Are you guys, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming the majority of you are pretty upset about this, given the reaction that I got to my last COD 2016 video. Are you anxious, like, for this new direction in the franchise, or what? Now, an important thing to keep in mind is that Infinity War is going on, like, a three-year production cycle. Actually, all of the COD developers are going on a three-year production cycle. So this game actually started being produced in 2013, before everyone expressed all this hate towards futuristic Call of Duties. So remember, we've had Advanced Warfare, we've had Black Ops 3 since then. But before then, this was this was like thought to be a revolutionary type thing that hadn't been done before. So going from Ghost, which didn't really do well, they probably wanted to go in a completely different direction. Everybody wanted all this new stuff. And I think they thought that maybe a space game would work, although it probably isn't. And I'm... Like really hope I cannot express how much I'm hoping that this is just a rumor and that maybe they changed their whole designs like midway through and they went with another game. I don't know. We'll have to see. But with that being said, if you guys did enjoy this video, please drop a like and subscribe. Let's try and get over that 200 sub mark by the end of the month. And let's try and get this video to five likes. Like I said, you can find the link to that video or that uh, article in the description. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on my next video. I'm out. Hey, if you guys haven't done so already, check out my three most recent videos on Batman v Superman, which is a spoiler review, my Division Final Mission playthrough, and a Black Ops 3 pretty crazy kill streak. You could do so by clicking the three boxes below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm out.